Oil Search today released their half-year results for 2017 to the markets, with the oil and gas company recording overall positive results. Despite a slight drop in production compared to the corresponding period in 2016, low unit production costs per barrel and increased world oil prices helped to achieve sound financial performance in the first half of this year. All this translating to a whopping 129.1 million US dollars in net profit after tax, close to 400 million kina, more than five times more than the same period in 2016. Speaking to MTV News this afternoon, Oil Search Managing Director Peter Botten was pleased with the outcome so far for the company. That was built on a very solid production base out of uh, our oil fields and especially PNG LNG and um, also um, uh, a uh, drop in uh, our overall costs uh, by uh, 12% um, in terms of taking costs out and driving efficiencies in our business. When you add all that up, we, we had a very strong first half, as I say, um, a, a strong first half profit, impacted too by um, higher oil and gas pricing. Uh, so overall, a, a pretty strong result. Not wanting to rest on the laurels, Oil Search looks to better its financial performance for the full year. For this to be realised, the company is looking to build on the performance set in the first half of this year. Well, obviously, I think the most important thing, frankly, is to keep your production up and make sure your production is as high as possible on a reasonable basis. And uh, obviously, with higher production, you get your a certain amount of your uh, cost base is fixed price, so if you're putting more barrels through, more molecules through, you'll reduce your cost, and that's really what happened here. I mean, clearly a 28% increase in oil price, 26% increase in, in uh, gas price had a, a material impact as well, uh, but it really is a combination between uh, uh, high production rates, um, uh, low costs, and, and higher oil prices, and that's what led to uh, a significant profit uh, outcome for the first half. With the recent conclusion of the national general elections, Oil Search also used the opportunity to engage with the new government to see how best they can work together in a range of areas, particularly in regards to issues surrounding PNG LNG project benefit distribution, as well as LNG expansion plans, issues which the government under Peter O'Neill are also keen to address. But I, I stress that's got to be done by uh, engaging with the government, engaging with landowners and the community in general to demonstrate the value that has come from PNG LNG uh, as uh, to date. And uh, uh, I think it's very important that uh, the project developers explain to government, explain to landowners that, that these projects do bring significant value and the value that uh, has already been delivered by PNG LNG. As a participant in the country's next LNG project, Papua LNG. Oil Search is also keen to engage with the developer, Total, in laying the foundations for this project, a project which is an integral part of Oil Search's growth into the future. I'm sure that as part of the government's 100-day uh, plan, um, a priority to resolve a range of development issues um, uh, is, is part of that plan, or likely to be part of that plan. Uh, and clearly our discussions between the two projects and the various uh, operators, ExxonMobil and Total, uh, I, I think are, are very constructive.